get it immediately. Okay, this is a video to go through texture painting as quickly as I possibly can. So I'll try and get it done in under a minute. So here we go, I've got a gravestone and I'm gonna paint that. Um, I need to get a screen out for uh, the UV editor and the node editor. So here we go, the UV editor and the node editor. Okay, I wanna to go to Cycles Render Engine because that's my preferred render, en render engine. Click on use nodes and there will become a texture for this object, okay? So I could even create a new texture over here if I want to. There's a new texture and label it gravestone material. I always say texture instead of material, but that is the material over here. Okay, then there's the UVs over here. So I haven't unwrapped this yet, so I'll need to do that. I need to select everything, unwrap, and smart UV project if you want to do it really quickly. And it's always good to have some island margin um, that should do. Okay, the island margin is the bit in between the islands, so you don't get any overlapping of um, your painting textures. Okay, so there it is, unwrapped there. So I'm all happy. I'll create a new texture here. So new uh, grave color. Okay, and you can double this if you want it really detailed, but 1024 is fine. Press OK, there's my texture. Um, but what I don't have, I don't have it in the node editor. So if I try and start painting on this, let's go to texture paint mode. It's purple, and that means there's no image applied to it. So over here, if we go um, add texture, image texture, we can bring that in. And we should have our grave color there because we've already put it into Blender's memory there. Okay, as soon as I do that, it turns black as this is black. Okay, so I can now start painting on that and I'll be all happy. Okay, you can even link it up to the color if you need, if you want to. But if you click on that texture, that's the one we're painting. So if we created a new texture um, and I clicked on that, then we'd be painting on that one. So I could perhaps paint, paint a bump map on there or something like that as well. The other thing you need to remember is over here where it says image, you need to save image as. Okay, Blender's uh, got a copy of it, but we haven't got our own copy. So if we exit Blender now, we will lose this grave color unless we save it somewhere in our files. Okay, so I'll save the image. I'll just put it on my desktop. Grave color, save image as. Great stuff. And then you can see I can start painting uh, my gravestone and it pops up in here. You can also go over to here and press on paint and paint in here if you like. Uh, then you can sort of add more detail and you get a little bit more control in here. It's a little bit easier to paint in the UV image editor. Okay, and you can go back to view to see what's going on. Make sure every time you add something or do something different, you save it though, save image. If you don't do that, you will lose the work you've done and I've done that several times, so watch out for that. Okay, I hope that helps.